the season finale, baby. Yes. And stay tuned to the end of this video where I will make an announcement which you will not want to miss. Big Brother is watching you. So the big brother of, I don't even know if he's a big brother, but the brother of Lisa is here and he's setting Stan straight. And then, is this a godmother? Something like that. In any case, the godmother is here and she's like, if I were you and he put my stuff out on the street, I would get to step in. And Stan is here acting like, oh, so horrible. So horrible how her last man treated her. <laughs> I would never, I could never, because he feels super intimidated by this guy. Ugh, the whole thing is a mess. And Lisa is, has so much up her sleeve. That's all these secret people she's talking to. But will we ever get to know who they are? No, because they didn't give us that info. So it's ridiculous, but let's get into it. It's time for love after luck up, baby. Hi. Okay, so here we go. This is dividends. Uh, commerce is, is 100000 in bonds. That's so now they're talking about his finances because he needs to let the people know how much um, money he makes so that he can get the car for her. So yeah, now she knows about all that and she's just like, huh, interesting. Let me just snoop around. Big one. Yeah. And then my pension. What does that add up to? One. Mm -hmm. Get them digits, girl. And, um, and so you get that a month or a year? Uh, that's a year. Are, are you trading one of these in? No, no. I, I got a car for uh, for Lisa. A car for Lisa? Yeah. Which names are going to be in? Both of us. Well, I'm these friends really do go through a lot with all the stupidity.com that they see, have to deal with, have to counsel through. Like, it's a lot. What are you spending? Oh, it's only like 13000 I've done a lot for her. She had $3,200 in speeding tickets. Wow. And I sent $3,200. Indeed, that's a lot. 3200 in speeding tickets. Ah, let me hear that again, actually. Did I hear that well? How much are you spending? Oh, it's only like thirteen thousand. I've done a lot for her. She had thirty-two hundred dollars in speeding mm -mm. tickets. Wow! And I sent thirty-two hundred dollars to the Secretary of State of Illinois, and she's clear. That's Babe Ruth. And it's so then now she's going through all his his collectible it collectors items and things baseball uh, balls that have been signed and all these things that obviously cost a lot of money if you were to ever sell it and she's just snooping around anything to figure out how rich is this guy actually and how much money can i leech off of him Fine. and lisa doesn't seem like the type but she's the type this can't be right Seventy-four thousand. why do they always come out of prison and get these block nails that look too fake her and destiny keep doing this like destiny from last season was doing this as well and she too but anyway everybody has different tastes it is what it is i have nothing to lose wow i can afford to to take a chance it's so interesting you have everything to lose like i said last time you are not jeff Bezos. okay your money's not infinite so you have a lot to lose i know that sign oh well, that will be worth some money Original photo. I am just so tired of being alone that I could throw up. Yeah, that is why you're doing all these ridiculous things. You're lonely. Where are your kids at? At least last season we got to see Sean and at, at least his daughter. I don't know about the other kids, but you know, we, we got a little bit more. And even Destiny has five children, which we also didn't see, allegedly. But yeah, there's so much more you can get out of it. And look, we're all just here. We're trying to be nosy and at some to some extent it's none of our business to know any of any of this but they pay them good money they sign contracts and they sign themselves up for these programs so when they do come we want a little bit more stories and a little bit more shown so that you can get a good overview of what's going on what's what's really good like what's really going on and otherwise you're just watching a show that doesn't come to a conclusion that makes sense and it's just like oh what have i been doing with my time watching this show that's like not even bringing a nice conclusion to it all. But in any case. Uh, I'd like to meet her, you know. Well, you will. He's yet to meet her. We don't get to see that either. You will. Okay. My gut is pretty good at judging people. Is he being taken advantage of? 
I don't know. Time will tell. And I don't think it's going to take a lot of time for it to tell. <laughs> for it to tell. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm trying to figure it all out. Mystery person on the phone. You know. We got a little TI situation going on here. I thought you got a lot of stuff going on. I'm on a better vacation. How about you going to do it? Yeah. Stand. I know you good. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. I know you're going to do it. I ain't tripping. Do what? Is it get the car and bounce? Ah, that's the one. Listen, I know you got a lot of stuff going on. I know I got to be patient. For what? I know you're, you're going to do it. I ain't tripping. She's going to go into the sunset with this other person. That's what I think. Everybody's in on it. Stan doesn't know everything about my past, honestly. Yeah, and she keeps saying that. But what does that mean? Because I, I don't speak a lot about it. So I've just told him that I've made mistakes in life. All he also wants to know is dungeon. That is it with Stan. If you tell him dungeon, that's it. That's his life made. See, that's also annoying. You weren't interested in her kid, which is why I never got to know more about her. You might think, oh, annoying, it's a kid. Yes, but now you know Jack did least squad about her. That is silly. And, and that's all he really knows. Yes. That would. Yeah. Stan doesn't know everything about my past, honestly, because I, I don't speak a lot about it. So I've just told him that I've made mistakes in life, and and that's all he really knows. Yes. Rick showed me how to um, make some quality meth. I don't know too much. I think that's her ex. Something like that. Much about Debbie, except for that uh, she used to practically be Lisa's mother when Lisa was growing up. And then Rick, he seems to be... A oh. The Rick she's talking about, oh no, that's her brother. Yeah, because her whole family, they're all ex-inmates or whatever. So yeah, he taught her how to make the woo, -woo which is ridiculous. The guy that she counts on heavily for advice. Lisa's from a family of... This is what is interesting. This guy is a millionaire. And look at the food that they're having. That stuff looked like chicken nuggets to me. I don't know what that is, but I was like, huh, I could fix you some of that. <laughs> Like that is, that is Criminals. interesting. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm not worried that Debbie and Rick won't like me. I mean, there's nothing really to, to not like. The fact that you're old is what, what they would not like. That and you being mean. It's not even the old. Let's scratch that. Because there's plenty of people who are like 30 married to a 60 year old. These things, that's not it. You're mean. You threw her clothes on the street. And said, get out. And she was in heels and didn't have much on. That's wrong. That's what they're going to not like about you. So, Who cares about the money if you're going to make her cry every day? How was the trip? It was nice. Small talk. Ooh. We've been going about every two days with full rain all day. Yeah. We've been getting along really good. It's a really poor small talk it was actually horrible like the silence is in between terrible could also be editing but i can imagine if you just randomly start talking about the weather even though you guys have so much to talk about that nobody's going to be interested in continuing that conversation everybody's just going to be like yeah okay the weather all right this is like small talk you you talk with people at the bus stop we are about to be your in-laws why are you talking about the weather Her taste when she he's saying that she has horrible taste picture man Rick, I want to show you some stuff All right. here. I call it the viewing room. That's a beautiful cat, actually. But anyway, he's gonna, what he's gonna do is trying to sweet talk and trying to get some common ground. And most likely, this guy doesn't give a hoot, an actual hoot about baseball. But hey, I feel like Stan's piece. Oh yeah. I'm ready to confront him and ask him why he's been treating my sister like you know he has. It's kind of a baseball room. I I, I heard you like the Cardinals and he yeah. I'm a Yankee fan. He don't care. And, oh wow. <laughs> that oh wow is like uh, yeah, I don't really care. Anyway, I got some business to discuss with you. Well, you want to sit, sit and have a talk? Absolutely. Straight to it. Well, I, I, you know, Lisa is like a twin to me. Now he's nervous. You see, when you meet your match, you become nervous. When something happens to me, it normally happens to her. You know. And when I heard you threw her clothes out in the yard, it pissed me off a lot. He didn't say I was a little bit pissed off. No, he's like, it pissed me off a lot. The ground, <laughs> my feet would have hit the street. 
the minute my stuff hit the ground, my feet would have hit the street. And her feet did hit the street, but then she came right back around to stop. So I don't know what she's trying to get from him, but I'm guessing the car and maybe whatever else you can get from him money-wise. Money and then she was cadazzle to whoever that mystery person is on the phone who we also never got to see. But yeah. Well, I think that he thought that I'm I would come God, mom. And it would just be me and nothing else. There would be none of my kids. Go come with packages. You know, it don't work that way. You're no, right, it doesn't. doesn't. She's been through a, a lot. When I didn't then go to talk about it, you know, I get choked up because her ex-husband beat her when stuff like that happens, you know. Look at this. Look at the theatrics. Her ex-husband beat her, and here you have Stan. Oh. Ooh, I, I couldn't think of that. Ooh, that hurts me to the core. Mm, I'm not that type of guy. Mm. Ooh, no, 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 no. I could never do that. Look at the theatrics that he's doing. I come and, and, you know, like... I mean, he's genuine in some of the things that he does, you know, like getting me a car. He bought me the... That's not being genuine. He's trying to hook you. He's trying to keep you on the hook because he knows you. there's nothing much for you to... That's, there's nothing enticing about this whole relationship, really, if you look at it. Hair. Two or three grand on my clothes. The godmother looks so cute. Paid thirty two hundred dollars off of my tickets so I could get my license. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. That's nothing to. Over thirteen thousand dollars, I did. Of course, you yeah. up. With fifteen felonies, it's hard to uh, obtain work. Yes. No. Yeah, and she's saying so. She's always been doing. You know, and this is the, the the thing about the prison system that doesn't work. If you guys really think this person is good enough to let out into society. Why is it that when they're in society, they can't get jobs? If you think they are a danger to society, you keep them in. But if you think there's somebody who can just be in society and live a normal life, get them out there and allow them to do certain jobs and move up the ladder one way or the other. And that will probably help them stop their weird and wicked ways. But if you don't, you put them out there and these people are going to be applying for jobs for the next four years, then eventually they will go back to their weird lifestyles. It's kind of a vicious cycle and you need to see what's safe enough for society. But they're already out here, so they might as well be working, no? You've already let them out of the prison, so apparently they're not that much of a danger now, are they? Oh well. I'll be around. Always watching, you know. I hope yeah, so. Big brother's watching you. That's him. I I'm not sure that I want to be tied down again. Um I, I kind of like being uh, playing the field. It seems like we're uh, we're on the right page. Got the air cleared. Yeah. Understand each other more. I met this um, girl and I talk to her every day on the phone. I think it's really really going well. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Whenever he's talking to her, she's very absent-minded. I, I think it's really really going well. Yeah, I think so too. Like. And he's not picking up on these cues. He's not picking up on anything. Stan doesn't know, and I'm just trying to see how I'm going to work it all out. Well, I don't know. Stan plans, this is an update. Stan plans to propose to Lisa soon. Lisa is still involved in her secret relationship, of which we never saw the person. And that was it. That was the end of love after luck up baby so yeah that that was the end of it that was the end of this season whether you want to call it a season or whatever whatever let me know what you guys thought about this season i thought it was whack they left out so many details as i've been saying throughout all these couples that have been reviewing and it just didn't have the same vibe as last season or even the season before that like mm -mm. this one wasn't cutting it for me and on that note the thing that I've been telling you guys that I'm going to be revealing to you, the announcement that I'm going to be making to you is that sadly I'm going to be stopping um, the Love After Lockup reviews. I think I wouldn't be doing them to the extent that I've been doing them now. Posting every single day is extremely hard as you can imagine and it's just not very... I like doing it. I don't mind whatever, whatever. I like doing it. I enjoy it myself doing it, but the couples need to be interesting. It needs to be shot in a way that makes sense. We need to be in the loop of what's going on. We need more of a closure at the end of the season. We need couples that are actually interesting. We need couples that actually have a good storyline. 
and Nissa and Jeff. I wanted to see this guy get his teeth done. I wanted to see him dripped out in the Gucci pants. Never got to see it. I wanted to see whatever happened with Kyle, whether they would still be able to have that relationship they had before if they have this Jeff in the house that keeps wanting to boom, boom the guy. I wanted to see Brittany and Ray. I wanted to know why Brit- Ray is so affluent. And I wanted to know really like if the families are going to come together. And I wanted to see that. I wanted to see with Courtney and Josh. What did I want to see with them? I don't know. They're kind of not a big deal, to be honest. I kind of wanted to see more of Courtney's friends and them coming around him and kind of vetting him and screening him and stuff like that. Because she seems to be kind of a loner. Where are her friends at? I always saw the friend that took her to the air, uh, was in, I was going to say airport, airport, that weird place wherever she went to pick up Josh. That's the only friend I ever saw of hers. But I, I, I don't know. He proposed kind of did he propose what did he do he did that cute thing the picnic whatever i would have loved to see that wedding okay just like uh, maurice jessica and maurice we did see a wedding not that that ended well because maurice is now with another chick but that's a whole other story but yeah so i would lo- i would have loved to see that that's how you see that last season we got these things like we got the wedding we literally had weddings and 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 uh i think even people pregnant and like a lot went on and this season it was just like Mah. We're just in the middle somewhere. And they're like, oh, let's just slap a season finale on there. It's like very weird. So, yeah, I, I didn't like that. Um, Cordona, the auntie and Nicole would have loved to see how far she went with, with Tia. Whether uh, the auntie finally got somebody new um, or how he ended up chasing her still, even though she was with Tia. Um, Rachel and Doug was pretty final. That was pretty final. Doug went back to his old ways and he's in prison. That was pretty final. Which they would have said what for, what he did. That would have been nice. It's going to be out there anyway. It's going to be out on social media anyway. So why are you keeping this information from us? This I don't know. Um, Stan and Lisa. I would have loved to see this secret person. Who is that? Would have loved to see who Lisa has been communicating with this entire time. Would have loved to see if she kind of Bonnie, Bonnie and Clyde's the thing and just takes this $13,000 car and just skedazzles. And take some of his like collector's items or whatever, whatever things she's gonna get her hands on, takes that stuff and la bounces. That's what I wanted to see because I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen. And also, it's really sad that they don't have a reunion. Like 1980 has a reunion, but then with these people, you can't really because the people keep going back to prison. But you could have had a reunion with just like Anissa, Brittany, Jeff, Kyle, uh, Brittany's parents. Maybe, uh, what's it called? Ray's parents, Courtney. Mm, I don't even know who of Courtney, really. Courtney herself. Um, Dante, in any case. Nicole didn't go to prison for as far as I know. Get Tia on there. Get um, Rachel on there. Maybe even little Dougie, or though maybe he's a bit too young for this reality TV stuff. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Get uh, Rachel's mom on there. Um, her friends who were installing the security cameras who were there when she was explaining the four B's that she had to come with. And then, um, who else? Um, get Stan and his friends, his girlfriends, you know, something like that. Get, um, this godmother of, um, Lisa, maybe Lisa herself, if she has not (laughs) run away and stuff and her brother do something like that. Get like a tell all with all these people. And it could be very interesting. And you might even get more as if you are more of the closure that you're looking for. When you get all these people together and you're like, oh, okay, this is how this went. This is how that went behind the scenes kind of thing. And that's where people say more stuff. But at least now that this is over, um, yeah, maybe they can talk more. Uh, they're no longer under a non-disclosure or whatever. It's all over. They've shut it down. It's a finale. So maybe we will see more stuff on their lives and we'll see more of what's going on but yeah you guys um this season was just not as enjoyable as the last season and this takes me so incredibly long to do and i love doing it but i have to love the couples and i can't be dependent on whatever couples they decide to cast because you never know that going in and so when i do go into these reviews you want to bring it to completion so what i will do is obviously this is still my show i still love love after lock up okay some love after lock up baby anyway my voice kind of going because i've been talking and talking all these couples but <laughs> whatever um in any case i love it a lot 
but what i will do is that i will obviously continue to watch it as i'm a fan of the show and then when i see a couple that's really piques my interest like for this season like you have a Dante and nicole that would probably be probably be because from the beginning you could tell that that was gonna, gonna be a matting so from the beginning i'll just take that couple and say right that's the couple that i'm gonna focus on and then i just focus on them and i don't focus on all of them or if i see that some of them are doing mad things i could make a video on it but not like every single day and only love after lock up on this channel because that's not what this channel started out with okay it's supposed to be somewhat of a lifestyle channel and a lot of things but then i realized that there's too many people doing that so so i think what i'm really looking forward to doing is just reacting and reviewing other other i don't know other shows other if you have any suggestions just drop them down below any other shows and i want it to be light i want it to be light i want it to be something that we can laugh about talk about and discuss like how you guys have been discussing in the comments and thank you so much for your nice nice lovely amazing comments i really do appreciate each and every one of you i read your comments and i really appreciate that you take the time out to thank me for uploading and you say really nice things and you put stuff very insightful things that i haven't had it even thought about in the comments like i always enjoy watching those and please do continue to do that whatever way i decide to go because it's still me it's still me with the same wit with the same ideas with the same wisdom with the same talking points coming from a place of being rational and not necessarily bashing people but trying to understand where they come from but at the same time just letting uh just saying when it's a matting so it's the same me and i'll just be doing other videos and they won't be as frequent as they have been so no more daily ish videos because it's been a lot and i'm pretty sure as a viewer it's been a lot also to catch up on and things like that and although some of you might say you don't mind at this point i mind it's a lot so and i can't be dependent on just one show that's mm -mm. So that's about to change around here. I've done Love After Lockup reviews now for over a year. Um, every time they were on, they were on a break for like two months and then they came back. So every single day, weekday, been posting. And yeah, that has come to an end. All good things come to an end and this as well. But thank you so, so much for sticking with me along this ride. I have really appreciated each and every one of you. And I hope you stick around. So in any case, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bump, thumb, pass, on to that subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell. Watch well, out. I'll see you in the next video, which will be, I don't know, man. <laughs> Until then, make time for glorious life. It's time to start words, living it right. God bless. As I said, leave um, some suggestions for possible um, video ideas, things that I could react to. And yeah, I will definitely do that. Yeah. Something light, something funny and not too ratchet and not something that leaves you kind of like your brain cells are like, what, what did I gain from this? We need to learn something up in here because like I said, it's been a bit wacky, but We've learned a lot, and that is to not be a doormat and keep your eyes open and look out for signs when people are trying to teach you, treat you like a doormat. And yeah, all the other things that I've been saying in all my videos. Stay tuned for more at some point. I really appreciate you. God bless you, keep you, watch over you, have mercy over you, guide you, lead you, and... See you in the next video, whenever that is. Bye. This was the last video of Fire After Lock Up. I will do other things. You can leave your suggestions down below. I will read them and maybe I will post. Do, 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 do. Bye.